Hey guys, Dave here, and we just arrived on site of this entire home transformation. You've been watching over the last couple of weeks. We just had the windows delivered yesterday. We installed them, and we're going to go inside. We're going to show you first the outside of what it looks like. We're just about to start the siding in the next day or two, and we'll go inside. We'll take a look at the open floor plan and the master bedroom bathroom suite above it. Okay guys, so here it is. We just installed the windows. The windows were back ordered and uh, put a little bit of a delay on it. But if you recall the build, we took the roof off of this home and we added this structure that you're looking at in literally three days. And uh, now we have the windows in, the siding will be delivered and we'll get the whole outside wrapped up quickly. The inside, we already installed the HVAC and the plumbing and uh, in the next day or so, the electrical crew will arrive and, and run the uh, electric rough. And then within a couple of weeks, we'll have the insulation and sheetrock beginning. So it's uh, it's going to move along quickly. And you can see how nice this came along. We had changed the overhangs on that half of the original half of the house. And we bumped up. We went up with a front bedroom. And then in the back is a master bedroom bathroom suite. On the lower level, we bumped out and added a kitchen bump out so we're going to go inside i'm going to show you how we opened up the whole lower half here created an open floor plan gave them a lot more space and we'll show you the uh, additional room up top all right guys we're going to step in here and we'll show you this open floor plan on this split type of home you can see the split is right here it's has the staircase going up to the bedrooms the existing bedrooms this used to be right here the living room and then a kitchen over there and a little a little dining room all within this you can see the floor where the floor meets the the new floor from from this area forward was the original structure and then we bumped it out and opened it up opened it up and in order to do all that we put in these flush headers so it allows our ceiling to look one level from front to back. It's a nicer look. This is the staircase going downstairs and that's gonna, that's gonna stay there, the staircase going up. There used to be a small bedroom above here. We ripped that off and we made a nice eight foot ceiling all the way across except for in the master bedroom above, which we'll show you in a minute. But from here, you can see how nice this is now with the open flow. Let's turn the camera around from front to back, completely open. And this allows them to have a nice open area. Uh, they're gonna have a better area for entertaining. And what's gonna happen here, you can see how we have the cabinetry marked out on the floor. This is a pantry right here. In this area is an island. And they're gonna have a, a nice uh, counter. The counter is going to be facing that way so that they can put some stools here. They have a French door going right out to the backyard. And it's just a nice setup for them and a nice change. A lot of windows, a lot of light coming in. And again, these structural headers right here allow us to create one level of a ceiling. You can see this one has two steel plates in the middle. It's all bolted together and it's load bearing. You can see the posts going down to the foundation, more posts on the outside here. And then on this side, it's a, it's a smaller span, so we only have one steel plate. And these are called flitch plates. And we set them up as we're building. So we start from the lower level, we work our way up. We put the flitch plates in place. You can see they're all bolted, staggered every 16 inches up and, up and down hangers on each one of these floor beams. Let's go upstairs and I'll show you what we did. All right, so we're making our way upstairs. These are existing bedrooms and what we did here is we put in larger windows. They had small windows here. We got rid of them. They had a couple little corner windows. You've probably seen them on the old homes. We put in all egress windows so that these bedrooms now meet the code in case there's a fire. It's a size of a window that allows an adult to get out. That's what we meet, we're meeting right now. This was an existing staircase that took you up to the existing bedroom that was in this area. There was nothing beyond that point. So we stripped everything down and everything is brand new. We're gonna go up there and take a look. So as we make our way upstairs, we're in a foyer here. And as we turn, there's a front bedroom. Again, lots of light, nice big closet in here. And then this still gives you access. This will be a door. This will give you access into the original attic. 
And as we turn, we have the foyer leading into the master, and this is gonna be a laundry. This is the laundry closet right over here. There'll be the dryer, the washer, right outside the master and outside the additional bedroom that we created. And as we enter here, this is the master bedroom suite, and it just opens up to a beautiful tray, 10 foot ceiling, nice oversized windows. And then as you turn here, you have the, the bathroom and the, and the private uh, toilet area, and then you have a walk-in right over here. You can see we already are moving quickly. We have the low voltage in place for the wall mount TV. We have the HVAC roughing up in the attic there. This is gonna be a independent HVAC zone up here for heating and cooling. And as we walk into the bathroom, you saw downstairs we had the kitchen plumbing. Up here we have the bathroom plumbing. This will be a private toilet area, window, ventilation, and the toilet's marked on the floor. We have double sink, which would be a six foot vanity. And over here is a great size custom shower from floor to ceiling. We're gonna have this all in this area here. It's a great size for a custom shower. And as we turn back out here, again, look at the space on this 10 foot ceiling. It's gonna be a beautiful tray ceiling with the angles going around the perimeter and a nice flat ceiling in the center. And it's just a great space for this family. They're gonna really gonna enjoy this for years to come. And as we walk in here, you have a nice size walk-in closet. We'll have the shelving, which is all part of our shelving package, which is a bonus package for our customers. And just look at everything. All this work is seamless. We handle everything from start to finish. Guys, as you can see, we are moving quickly. And one thing I wanna stress, and I can't stress enough, is that we handle everything from start to finish. You hire us, there's nothing to worry about. Every step along the way, we are making sure that it's planned out properly so that your job flows seamless, there's no issues, and in the end, it's turnkey. You bring your furniture back into the house, we handle everything. So if you have any questions about your home remodeling project in New Jersey, give us a call, ask for me, Dave Pangio. My number is 201-774-3733. Again, 201-774-3733. You could email us at info at pangiondevelopers.info. You'll see the address right there. Again, info at pangiondevelopers.info. And any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching. Hey guys, if you're interested in information on how to hire a contractor, I put together a list. Click on the link down below. You'll get that information for free. Again, click on the link down below and you'll get that information on how to hire a contractor. You'll get it for free. Thanks. Hey guys, Dave here, and I'd really appreciate if you took the time just to click on the like button for this video. You can also subscribe to the channel, but if you click on that like button, it really helps us out. Again, just a little button on the down below. It says like, click on it, and I really appreciate it.